Now I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos of people arching their back. Power lifters do it all the time and there's a reason behind it. There's a safe way to do it for what we're trying to accomplish and there's an unsafe way like this. I know you're gonna dig this. All right, so Mike, go ahead and drop your feet. All right, go ahead and set yourself up in your normal arc. Okay, what we talk about, creating that normal arc. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Check out his level from the side here of his chest. Okay, now what I want you to do is lose that arc and come down. Did that level really change? The answer would be no, okay? So what that arch is doing is that it's creating tension in his spine and his lower back and creating tension in his upper back through him pinching his shoulder blades together. It's creating a safe, stable position for him to be able to press the weight out from. Now, go into what a power lifter would do. The swing? You can do the swing, but I want you to raise, I want you to kick your feet back and I want you to raise your hips up and drive back. So create as much arc as you can to lift your chest up as high. Okay, now this is a powerlifting position, okay, for competitions. So now what I want you to do is go back down into your normal area. I mean, that dropped almost a half inch to an inch. That's the difference. Go back into that position again. Look how high his chest is, his sternum's right here. Now drop, and it lowers down significantly. So that's the difference in creating tension for strength training and creating tension for changing your position like in powerlifting. Now we want to actually introduce something that he can feel, okay? So what we're going to do is have our hand here, okay? Same kind of cue using our pinch the pencil between his shoulder blades, but now he can actually feel that tension in him squeezing on my hand. Good, go ahead and relax. Go ahead and retract. Noticing that they come together, creating that stability. Go ahead and relax. One more time. And relax, great. And the last corrective that we can use to help create stability and feeling the stability is he's gonna use a pull-up band, you can use a TheraBand. What he's gonna do here is he's gonna be palms down. He's gonna grab it at a distance that's you know, appropriate. You may have to modify it as tension will increase. The closer you grab, the harder it's gonna be. So for this, don't grab too close. So what he's gonna do from this position is he's gonna think about pushing his arms out. We wanna get that shoulder blade exposed, okay? From this position, now he's going to slowly pull his arms apart and he's gonna feel the contraction back here between his shoulder blades. Good, go ahead and relax. There you go. Go ahead and press out. Always press out first, then pull apart, and you just see everything pop back here. Feel that tension, memorize it. Go ahead and relax one more time. Slowly pull apart. And relax, nice. So those are three easy things you guys can do as correctives or as a strength training tool to help increase your tension in your back and create a better stable position for your bench. Try it out, see how it works. Let us know if your bench is increased. See you next time. Hey.